Hi folks, welcome back to the Plain Fun RC channel. This is your host, Saul. Uh, so quick update here on the Rich Models Long Easy. One of the things I wanted to do is to add an anti-spark because when I connected the 12S batteries, there was a massive spark. I completely forgot to add the anti-spark and it, uh, it did a number on one of the connectors. Anyway, so I remembered I had these sitting around the shop uh the as150s you can get them on amazon as well as from gravesrc.com um just uh, if you put an as150 uh anti-spark uh, they'll come up we, we we looked at these were uh, featured in the uh, video for the um uh, pond racer and i did not know these were anti-spark and the way you can tell is if you look at that one connector there there's actually an anti-spark inside whereas if you look at the other male connector that comes with it this one is not uh, does not have the anti-spark feature. So these are anti-spark connectors. Now, very important. This connection. This is a. Uh, this was a. Um, uh, let me show it to you to, all together. This was the uh, series connector from um, Castle Creations, and I just went ahead and I just cut it uh, because what will happen? I'll, I'll connect the batteries here, and then I'll plug these in after that. Uh, very important, ESC is on this side, battery's on this side, so when you go to connect the anti-spark, it's got to be on the ESC side, and it must be on the negative wire, because the negative wire is the last wire that's connected. So that's very important, okay? Uh, that's why you see the anti-spark here. But the great thing about these connectors, as I said previously, is, is that these housings, they slide up and they actually screw on, and if you look right there, you can see threads. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it there they are they're threaded connectors so it's a really nice feature because you can unscrew the housing or screw them back in place if need be so anyway um that is going to be our anti-spark feature uh for this and i just wanted you to see i've got a couple connectors already soldered up and those two over there are already are going to be soldered next so uh more to come all right, folks, as we continue the update here, uh, you can see we've got the connectors here on the right where the housing is now screwed on. Or they're now screwed on. These were just uh, soldered in place. We're letting them cool down, and then we'll slide the housings up. Um, so that, that's how they look once they're done, and then we're going to connect these to the ESC, uh, and, of course, uh, the, once we have some batteries, we'll, we'll connect the batteries as well. So hopefully this should eliminate the spark issue that occurred uh and um uh and then more to, and then there will be more to come all right all right folks and the last part of the update here uh you can see how we have our housings now screwed in place the black connector since this is the anti-spark once again you can tell by that by the solid end there um that will get connected last uh once the um uh, at, um, yeah, once the batteries are all connected, then this one gets connected last. So pretty straightforward. You can see the, the setup there. And, uh, uh, you know, I would highly recommend it if you're doing anything above a 4S or greater where a spark occurs, you definitely want to put an anti-spark on here because what happens, you actually get a buildup over time. While the spark may seem neat and, 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 and cool to look at, the problem is you get a buildup uh, burn mar burn uh, material on the actual connectors and that can affect connectivity in a negative fashion Just think of an old model train if you ever had one before how after a while when the track gets dirty the, electri the electricity doesn't travel very well from the train track to the train Well, this is no different once those connectors get get enough burn marks on them uh, They become less and less effective and the motor becomes uh, uh, less and less powerful uh, So anti-sparks very important easy to attach and I encourage you to get them. All right folks more to come